Good morning, everyone. I don't want to say I'm back, but I do want to say I'm back because I always say that. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, it might be boring, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, I'm going to be doing swipes and because I want to use them in the uh, panels I'm going to make. So I'll, I'll explain what I have in mind when I do uh, one. Uh, what I have been doing this week is uh, just, you know, dinking around with a little bit of uh, watercolor. And this is the one that I've been dinking around with. And you can really, you know, it doesn't matter which way you think it's pretty. You could do it any which way. But I kind of like, you know, all the little dots and stuff going on in it. I'm not sure if you can really pick it up. I think so. So um, I'm just, you know, starting out doing this. I want something a little loosey-goosey to do. Because the other one is really um, getting into materials and struct of structures and uh, textures. So I want something to balance it out a little bit, if that makes sense to you. So, I'm pouring on, uh, there you go, Kodak Extra Life 2. This is uh, waterproof and you can't tear it. And this is uh, stays flat, doesn't buckle. So this I can cut out and use in my collages that I'm going to do on the panels. Now what I want to do is, um, I'm, I'll show you what I had in mind. So I'm going to put some color on and it doesn't really matter in which order I put them on. This is a lighter turquoise and I'm going to make a, a series and it's all going to be uh, turquoise colors because I like it. Then I might move on to something different but right now I want to do the turquoise colors and uh, it's going to have a lot of gold and it's going to have sort of a, a creamy egg egg color creamy color egg like i don't know what <laughs> but that's that's what i was thinking about this one is a little on the thick side i just might have to adjust it Now, for you guys uh, who mix a lot of paint, this is really handy. This is a thing, you know, you can um, make sure you only get a couple of drops or you get a little bit more. It's really good to have. So you can really dose what you want. Okay. Now, now I have this. This is my the colors I'm going to use. Then I take another piece of this photo paper, put it on top. And then I have to be careful because you don't want to squish it out totally. So I'm going to really softly rub it a little bit and push it over and then see what we get. That is pretty. Look at that. That is really pretty. And it does have silicone in it already. So I'll just give it a little torch because I like to see it torched. Yeah, that's working. So, uh, and now I'm going to swipe it. And why is because, eh, it's still a little thick, because um, I want some lacing. That's what I'm going for. Okay, let's see if this works. Eh, it looks, the consistency is pretty, pretty good. So I think that's going to work. Got to put it on a little bit broader than the paint is. And now we're going to swipe it. And I need a piece of paper to clean my swipey thing. So let's go. That's nice. Oops. Didn't want to do that though, but we'll see. Okay, well, that's going to work. That's better. 
You already see the uh, cells popping there. It would uh, pop all by itself, but like I said, I want some lacing, and lacing, I think it really needs a torch. There you go. It did lace a little bit, but not as much as I would have wanted. There's lacing up here. But then again, all I need is really narrow strips, so I'm going to cut it up anyway. But I, I would like a lot of um, choice. I would like a lot of, um, you know, different ones to pick out the best bits. Like, I would be only needing something like this so narrow. But that's a lot of lacing, and I have a lot of lacing on this one. So we'll put these away. And this time I just might not torch it when I pull them apart. So I'm going to put on the green first because I don't want that much green in it. Then we're going to go back to the turquoise. Maybe a little bit more. And I just might make it a little wider because I'm not going to be torching it. Yeah, this one has gone thick on me too. Sometimes, you know, when you mix the paints, because this is fresh paint, and uh, you're mixing for quite a while, and then the one you mixed up first, that one sort of gets a little thicker. And the darker turquoise, this one is perfect. There you go. And then I do want a little bit of dark blue. Let's see how that one's doing. And it went a little thick too. That's better. Not too much of the dark one. So I have all the turquoises. Now I'm going to press on it, but I'm not going to torch it. See how that changes the, the cells. Very softly. Just push that paint together. That's okay that we have a couple of spots. That's no problem. Uh, maybe I should just make sure that it's covered. Yeah, that's better. I'm not going to torch it, so I'm going to put on the white straight away. A little bit more. I'm doing it rather quickly, I know, but I think I have to do that. see. Oh, that could be a little bit better. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, that looks better. There's more color coming through. Now a lot of people ask, you know, how, how close do you get to the paper? Well, not close at all because you don't want to get too close, especially because this is plastic. So then it'll, you know, sure, sort of shrivel up and you don't really want that. Now I'll give you a close up. See, there you go. This this is more lacing than cells. It's like there's something on top of it. Instead of the, having all those cells, you know, just having round popping cells, you have sort of like there's something on top of it. That's really pretty right up here. This one's pretty much the same. 
as you can see here it's like it's laying on top sort of 3d let me get you in closer see if I can get you in yeah there you go see how it's almost growing on top it's like something is I don't know <laughs> some sort of bacteria thing going on I don't know I like that it's really um, like 3d when you see it and that's what makes it for me makes it interesting and um, a good thing to put into uh, one of those collages okay sorry about that my light went uh, weird so I had to start it up again and this time we're gonna do how we used to do it we're gonna give it a couple of colors we're gonna go from light to dark and then the dark one down here And then in between, we're going to give it a little bit of green. That's about it. And then we're going to swipe it with this. A little bit more. There you go. Now making sure my tool is clean. And then we're going to swipe it. Ooh, look at those colors. They are pretty. Let's see what's going to happen with this one. Now the lacing is a lot bigger, as you can see from uh, up there. This is really big lacing. So I just might might use this. Uh, wow, that is really pretty. This one is really pretty. I'm, I have to do that one again. Look at that. See this part here? Let me get you in really close. That is really awesome. I love this one. There's more colors in it than uh, you are seeing. Let me see if I can get you back. Yeah, that's better. That is really pretty. So we're going to keep this one. We're going to try that one more time. And then I'm going to stop because it's going to be a way too long video. <clears throat> well, on the house front, there's still nothing happening because um, Holland is, the house prices are going crazy and probably is all over the world, but especially uh, when you're looking for a house <laughs> that really uh, you know it's really annoying so uh, each time I think I find something that I'd like it turns out to be way over my budget and then it, you still have to do stuff to the house you know put in a new kitchen or something and that's just not what I'm gonna do at the moment so we'll just wait what they did here in Holland is um, they're going to build a uh, 100,000 new homes. So that might, you know, make, make for a little bit of uh, that the price goes down a bit. But we'll see. Okay, putting on the top. Yeah, I swear, you know, this is the first video I do whole, the whole week. My husband never comes in here, now he's in here. It's always the same. I told you guys that before, I'm not kidding. This happens every single time. Ah, oh, too bad I couldn't swipe it any longer because that was really pretty. Let me put it on here. Okay.
Yeah, that's a pretty one. Let's see what this does. This is only, you know, scraping off the uh, the tool. Yeah, it has some little parts in it that I like. We can also keep that, but this one is perfect. See the thick, thick veins going over it, the lace? So that is really, really pretty. Okay, next up I'll be, um, I'm gonna show you the crackle paste side by side. And I had a couple of questions about it online, which I haven't answered yet, but I, I wanted to answer it in a video. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'll uh, see you all back. I have a lot of paint left over, but I just wanna let this dry. And this will probably be dry tomorrow, so I'm gonna cut it up a little bit and, and see how that works out. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Love you all to pieces.